Now, our guest today is a true legend of stage and screen, and this year he's on tour to celebrate almost 40 years in showbiz. But it's not all fun and games. Now, last week, he made headlines after revealing that he'd had a freak accident with some moose antlers <laughs> that left him needing stitches. I had, to, I had to read it twice. I was like, what? Pardon? <laughs> anyway, it's true, and here to tell us all about it. Please welcome Joe Pasquale. <laughs> I've got to get in a real weird position cos it's right on my wound. Oh, well, yeah. Oh, no, I've got to sit... Steady, steady, steady. Really? I'm going to put one cheek on it, if that's all right. Are like you all right? Do you right? need...? Cos, honestly, if I sit... No, see, it's not funny. I've got no. a wound, but... It's right by, it's not right by my bum cheek, and so I have to find the right position. Ooh. That'll do it there. Right, that'll right? be fine. Is that all right? I said I had to read that headline twice. I was like... No. A what? Pardon me, did what? No, I had to read it myself. I read it and said, a comedian nearly dies. I wonder who that is. And it was my name, or it's me. <laughs> and it got all the paper, more publicity out of this than anything I've done in so, 50 years. So, tell, <laughs> tell us what happened. Well, I, I've been on, I'm on tour now, cos I haven't toured since before we'll Covid. We'll talk about the tour in a minute. Like, tour, yeah, but I haven't toured since before Covid, so I was really nervous about it anyway, cos, you know, it's like... And you, you must have missed it, Brenda, when we couldn't do it. Mm. And then, all of a sudden, I'm back doing it again. And I've done a few plays, but first time to do stand-up again, and it's like jumping out of a plane to do stand-up. You go, what's it like? What's it like? You get out there, go, oh, it's great, and you're floating and you're doing that. And at the end of the show, it was great, it was in Skegness, the land of the midnight sausage, right? It's amazing. <laughs> you can get a sausage any time of day or night in Skegness. <laughs> and so I'd finished the show, and, and my, my act is loads and loads of props. It's like a boot sale. At the end of it, it's just strewn everywhere, right? And it's like the early learning centre for five-year-olds. And it's just... <laughs> and I never grew up, and it's, it's fantastic to do again. And it's all this stuff all over the floor, and I've got this great big pair of... Mustang. On stage? On stage, yeah. Yeah, it's all on stage, right? It's a great big theatre, this one in Skegness. And they've got these great big moose ants. They're sticking on the floor. I'd used them in the show already. And then the curtain comes down. They, they bring the lights down afterwards. They always bring the lights down the stage. Don't know why. They can't see it anyway. <laughs> come down, right? And then uh, and, I, and I'm really excited. The shows, like, it's like I've landed. The show's finished. Great. Second second night in. And then I just trip over something. Don't know what it is. And as, as I'm tripping over, it was like slow motion. It was like watching a new Tom Cruise movie. You know, with Mission Impossible. <laughs> and I saw these moose antlers coming at me. And it was. It, and it sounds really weird, but it was slow motion. And I thought. I'm going to die. I'm going to die. I'm going to die by moose, death by moose. And the moose was dead anyway. It was just his head, right? And there's, there's these great big prongs sticking up at me. And I'm going, oh, no, no. And, you know, your balance goes, and it's in slow motion when you're falling, isn't it? Yeah. And it, it seemed like it was going for about half an hour, but it wasn't. It was only about two seconds. <laughs> but as I was doing it, I thought, what would Tom Cruise do in this position, right? Uh, what would he do? Good I just point. Mission Good Impossible point. 7. And I was, I did, what I did, oh, oh I saw a bit, saw a bit. <laughs> right? And then, and what I did in midair, I twisted, yeah, can I? Yeah, yeah. And then I twisted in midair like that, and I landed right in the middle of the moose, moose head itself, right? Except, Except for my left leg. Ooh. My left leg went straight, it punctured my left leg here, like this. Oh. Right? And Can so, I just say, look, because well, we were looking at that one, but you know, like that. that yeah, it that, was that, yeah. landing on yeah, that. Yeah, it got those there. So I was right in the middle of it. It was like it was like Bambi on acid. It was terrible, right? <laughs> and, and as I'm going, and then it, it really hurt. It did hurt a bit. And I so got up. You did have to go to hospital. Well, I went to see my tour manager, right? I said to, to Lee, I said, Lee, I think I've hurt my leg. He went, let's have a look. So I dropped my trousers. I'm not going to do it now because it's not bad. It's good at lunchtime, right? <laughs> so I dropped my trousers and he went white. He went, oh my God, oh, like that. I went, what's the matter? He went, you need a medic. So I went, what for? He went, you just need a medic. So we, they phoned some medic. He comes down and he went, what's the matter? I said, I think I've hurt, hurt my leg. He went, let me have a look. And he went, oh my God, like that. <laughs> and when a medic does that, you know you're no, in trouble. Yeah, yeah you right? know you're yeah. in trouble. But you know when you hurt yourself, it doesn't really hurt. You go, oh, shock. Yeah, mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. He said, you need to go to hospital. So I said, what for? He said, you've got a hole in your leg. <laughs> so I went, what's it, it'll be all right? When he went, no, you need to go to hospital right now. I said, it's 11 o'clock at night in Skegness on a Saturday night. And I want a sausage, you said. Yeah, a sausage. Yeah. I could get a sausage, <laughs> but you can't get a medic at that time of night. So <laughs> he, oh, the next day I was in Bridlington. He just patched it up. I went to hospital the next day in Bridlington. And I, it's not funny, Brad. I was like, but honestly, I was so uncomfortable here. You won't believe it, but I need some... Did you have to have stitches? I need no, stitches. Never. I've got loads of germline. There was those sort of creams. <laughs> Probably. Every sort of cream imaginable on there, right? I've got pseudo cream. Is this called yeah. pseudo cream or cream? Pseudo, pseudo cream. It's spelled pseudo cream. It's, pseudo cream. Pseudo cream. it's, like, it's, pseudo like, cream. it's like pile cream that's called anusol, right? <laughs> but. <laughs> Hey. My mum used to say it was called anusol, right? But if you go into a chemist and say, can I have some anusol? Have you got oh, the anusol? They go, well, everyone's got one. They all say that, right? <laughs> but... Can I hear? 
say. Other oh. brands of hemorrhoid cream. Yes. Are <laughs> there's, only two, there's only two, it's though. Pre preparation H, which is no good at all. It's a bit... It's a bit... Listen, Shorty, let's talk to you to get him off the <laughs> okay. Your tour, your tour that you're currently on, where you fell on the moose's yes. doodah, yeah. um, is called <laughs> The New Normal 40 Years of Cat. Yeah, it is. That's so, what... what's... <laughs> Tell us what it's about. It's cack, well, it's, uh, cack is something that you, it's an acceptable word to say in poo, really, isn't it? Mm, yes. And I've never, I've never taken it too seriously. I've always thought life is too short. And, and what, what, what's really good about doing stand up is, is uh, I missed it so, so much. And I think we need it in our lives. Mm -hmm. And what people don't realise is uh, it's, it's a symbiotic relationship when you're doing it. Because it, what it does, if you're watching someone do a stand up, well, anything, what, it could be a musical play, go and see Brenda's show. Mm -hmm. It, it gives people freedom of concern for the amount of time you're watching the show, and if you can be, if you can give people that sort of freedom of the, all the worries that are in the world, your mm, right, problem, just yeah. that, those two hours, and also that what it does for me, I, I get rid of all my concerns. That man, because all you can do is focus on that two hours, mm. and if you can make people laugh for two hours, it's a, it's the a, a best joy in life. It really is. So I missed yeah. it so much. Well, you, listen, you, um, you've made. Um... You've made us laugh a lot in just, what was that, like, five and a half minutes, <laughs> I think. And um, we just had to clear up the Antler story because yeah. we were a bit concerned about you. It and people thought it was a joke. It really wasn't no, what's a joke. And also, I've got a little badge there and, and you play homage to the moose side. Oh I'm a, this is good today. I've been, I've been telling everybody I'm a moose women today as well. Moose <laughs> 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 uh, That's funny. Oh, oh, we've got to say goodbye. <laughs> it's never enough time. We had to oh, no. say I said I don't make the rules, people. No. Oh. Got to go to the adverts, Thank Joe. You, you know what it's like. Yeah. Listen, um, the tour is until the first of October. Do try and go and see yeah. Joe. I'll go back out again next year. So it's going, it's oh. going on forever. No, so the new out. normal. <laughs> uh, thank you so much. Thanks for having me. You can take that. Be careful with it. I'll okay. take that with me now, girls. Joe, please buy it. Stay here. Stay there.